With GTA Online being a very old game, Rockstar has had time to add countless updates into the game, which means there are so many ways to make money, and now there are even so many ways to make money daily, and that's what we will be covering in today's video, with the top 5 daily activities I think you guys should be doing in GTA Online. Now I tried to include a variety of different activities for different playstyles, and at what point you are in the game, either just getting started, or a bit more experienced. So hope you guys enjoy, like and subscribe and without further ado guys let's just jump straight into this. So let's start off with a relatively new activity in the form of the Gerald's caches or G's caches. Now this small side activity can be collected slash done once every day and resets at 9am GMT every day. Now all you have to do to claim Gerald's cache is to head to the purple square icon that will be randomly scattered on the map and it changes every single day. Now when you arrive at the location a white zone will appear on the minimap and that is is where the cash or package will be. It will be somewhere hidden inside that area. Now, typically the package or cash isn't that hard to find as it just looks like a typical drug package wrapped in some clear sellotape. Now, when you find the cash and collect it, you'll receive a small assortment of items like consumables for health, like E. Cola, and a full weapon refill for one of your weapons in your weapon wheel, along with a cash amount, which ranges from about 16,000 to 22 and a half thousand dollars which is actually a really solid amount an okay amount of cash considering it requires no business to do and can be done every single day in under about a minute or so so even if you are an experienced player doing this really quick and simple activity is definitely not a waste of time as these small amounts can add up over time especially if you don't have hours to grind the game every single day then logging on for a few minutes each day and doing this activity will eventually add up to a more substantial amount and that's why G's caches are on this list. Next up we have the excess weapons from the bunker. Now this one only applies to people who own the bunker however keep watching this video as we have other daily activities that can be done by complete beginners later on in the video. Now every 48 minutes real time or one full GT online day a supply truck will appear next to the bunker carts that when interacted with will start a secret delivery mission which is completely separate from your bunker stock slash supply. Now delivery mission involves you driving this slow ass truck a few miles to a random ammunition on the map. Now it's a really simple task and for your first completion of this activity you will be rewarded with $150,000 but if you complete it again 48 minutes later or basically every completion after your first one it will reward you with $50,000 from then on out, which is still a really solid amount of money for something which requires no work whatsoever as your bunker doesn't even need to be creating product for you to get this activity to trigger. So if you have a bunker, I would highly suggest doing these very simple missions as once again, just like the G's caches, these smaller sums of money can really start to add up over time. But let's go back to an activity anyone can do without needing any business or investment, which is the daily stash houses. Now, similarly to the G's caches, these side quests reset daily and appear randomly on the map and can be identified by the small purple house with crosshair icon on the map. Now head over to the icon and enter the building and you will be starting the mission. Now it's the same every time and the layout of the stash house is also the same every time with there being a few armed enemies inside with minimal armor. Basically what you want to do is find a sticky note which is located somewhere in the room which has a six digit safe code. Then find the safe and open it and then just simply leave the building. Now after leaving the building and the area you'll be rewarded with one of two rewards. Now if you have no businesses that require supplies you'll be rewarded with $30,000 flat in cash straight into your account. But if you own one or more businesses that require product or supplies you will be rewarded with a random full resupply of a business that you own which is actually really nice and this activity is one that I try to do every single day 
day as it saves a lot of time and you can also save money as you don't have to spend money on supplies. So after leaving this video, if you were going to pick one of these activities on the list to do every day, I would highly suggest doing the stash houses. Now next up we have a daily activity that's part of the auto shop business which is the customer cars or auto shop service. Just like the bunker, this mission can be triggered once every 48 minutes. But what does the auto shop service actually entail? Well, just like the other activities mentioned on this list, it's also very simple. Go over to the customer lift in your auto shop where a car should be and modify it for the customer. Now there are three different vehicle classes that you can get and this is totally random. On the screen now is a table I found on GTA Fandom which just shows simply how much you make from each vehicle class. Unlike the other activities mentioned so far, unfortunately this one does require a small service fee that ranges depending on the vehicle class, so between $20,000 and $50,000. However, if you do deliver the car, you will make that back and a little profit ranging from twenty dollars to $30,000, which is pretty good. Now the only real downside apart from the service cost is that you also have to own an auto shop and they are a bit pricey but if you do happen to own the auto shop then doing these every day will make you a little extra cash. And the final activity that you should be doing daily is the exotic exports which again is part of the auto shop business. Now if you go up the stairs in the auto shop and head right you should see a blackboard with the names of 10 cars written on it which changes daily. Now you will have to go driving or flying or whatever you prefer around the map waiting for a small circular blue dot to appear on the mini map which indicates the presence of one of these ex export cars. When you do find one which usually for me takes no more than a couple minutes head with the car over to the docks and deliver it next to this large crane. For doing this you will receive $20,000 and 100 RP points. Now if you complete all 10 exotic export deliveries in a single day, which may take you 50 minutes or so, you'll be rewarded with a $100,000 bonus. This means it's possible to earn $300,000 a day from exotic exports and you will also get 4,000 rep points, which makes it the best daily activity in the game and you really should be trying to do this daily as much as you can. It's also great because it's solo friendly, however, every activity I've actually listed so far is solo friendly and can be done completely alone, which is really fantastic. But that's all for today's video. What missions or activities do you do on a daily basis in GT Online? Leave that down in the comment section below. And like always guys, take care everyone and have a great day.